Well, good evening and thank you for joining us on what's going to be a hell of a week. The Melbourne Cup tomorrow and an American election the next day and plenty more. And we'll get it all to you from here. But look, up front tonight, I thought we'd start with a really heartwarming story before we get into all the tough stuff. It was a big race meeting in Victoria on Saturday. It's commonly called Derby Day. It's regarded universally as one of the greatest race meetings on the international calendar. Now, even if you hate horse racing, bear with me. Five Group 1 races, which is like the gold medal of racing. And then there's the staying race for three-year-olds, the Victoria Derby. There was a horse in it called Johnny Get Angry. The trainer was Dennis Pagan. The jockey was a 22-year-old apprentice, Lachlan King. Dennis Pagan was the coach of North Melbourne when they won two premierships more than 20 years ago. Lachlan King is the son of Stephen King, who won the Derby in 1991 and 2002, aboard Star of the Realm and Hellenus. Now, remember, Dennis Pagan, the AFL coach, only got a trainer's licence in July. This is November. This was a $2 million race. Dennis Pagan stuck with The Apprentice, saying it's happened a lot in footy, sticking with young blokes. I'm glad I did. Well, the favourite was a horse called Young Wertha. Young Lachlan King followed the champion, Damien Oliver, who was on Young Wertha, everywhere he went on the favourite. And the question was, which horse would break down first, in other words, weaken, in the big Flemington straight? Let's hear the final stages and remember, the horses Johnny get angry. The trainer has held a licence only since July. He is a former AFL premiership coach, Dennis Pagan. He's the sole owner of the horse. Would you be crying if it were you? Just have a look at this. Here are the final stages of the derby. The apprentice, Lachlan King, on Johnny Get Angry. Johnny Get Angry, 100 metres to go and Young Furta. Johnny Get Angry is pulling clear, hit the shot late, but Johnny Get Angry for an outstanding sporting double for Dennis Pagan, won it by a length. And I thought, this, is, this will just come along. I didn't expect this, and it's happened. It is. Well, let's hope it's the start of many for you. Uh, it's a great thing. You're a great sporting man. You're a great Victorian to win our oldest classic race. Congratulations. How does it compare to an AFL grand final? Oh, well, this is ten times better at the minute, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> is that the best story of the weekend? The Derby winner was his first ever winner. An unknown apprentice on board because the little fella had been loyal to Dennis Pagan and Dennis was loyal to him. Young Lachlan had a chat with his dad on Derby morning, but the best advice came from his mother before he headed out to Flemington for the only ride of the day. He said, Mum said to me this morning, take the pumpkin off and put the head on. So I had to make sure I didn't let her down, and I didn't. And the trainer, Dennis Pagan, received a training licence in July. He's got two horses in the stable. The horse had never won a race in six starts. It wins the Derby on its seventh. Dennis Pagan owns it outright, so he takes home $1.2 million. As my dear and departed friend, the former federal politician Sir James Killam would say, if this is not a good story, we are in trouble.